Hey everybody, um, for once, this wasn't on us. No joke, we actually just lost entire internet from what was happening. Basically, what happened was we were in the middle of the stream and then all of a sudden the power went, uh, not the power, but the internet went out, meaning that basically all of our stuff was cut off. And it was because of our internet provider here in our small town area. Meaning it... Yeah, and unfortunately, due to being a small town area, we can only get this type of internet, sadly. We are thinking of trying to look for other avenues right now, currently, on what we can do to give ourselves some... I guess you could say improved internet right now, but this is the best we can do under short notice. However, I am going to let you guys know that currently, right now... Um, I decided to put the title on there, 6.2, to let everybody know that this is basically almost like a part two of the stream, which we were supposed to continue. So, yeah, this is going to be short, but at least you guys won't miss anything since I paused it right as soon as the internet glitch happened. So, you guys didn't miss too much. It was definitely weird, but it looks like we're all good to go on our end. Thank freaking God. Um, but yeah, I do apologize for the internet situation, but that was all on our internet provider here in our area. They really just suck. But however, they're also the best in our type of area, so <clears throat> we just have to deal with what we got. But yeah, we're going to finish this game and we're going to finish the off-season before we continue on to uh, the rest of the stuff. So, yeah, give me a second. Okay, we're good there. Just need to reload the page. There we go. Boom, done. Then I have to just set everything here and we are good. So, here we go. But yeah, that's the reason why I put it on the Be Right Back screen or short break. Because uh, it took us a little bit of time trying to get all this stuff done. But we're back, ready to continue. We're going to finish this bowl game. And we're going to, uh, and we're going to head into uh, the offseason. And then we'll stop for today. So let's uh, at least try to get this game going. But just in case if any of you guys might have missed it, we had just reached the season record or I think season or career record of rushing yards uh, up to 6,000 total, or sorry, not rushing, um, total yards, 6,000. So that's already a great sign for us, and hopefully in the near future when we get into a bowl game, we'll be ready. As the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. It's not quite a blowout, but unless they do something here, it might turn into one. Down. And he's taken down at the 38. That's a game of 13 on the play. First down. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 38. He's taken down the 39 yard line. I think you can trust my defense. Yep, I can. That brings up second and nine. You have to. God bless it. What a pain in the ass. Ugh. Man, I really need to really get that. Oh, Jesus Christ. He's going to be sacked for a loss. Threes. Man, these guys can be aggressive. When you stand back there and take hits like that, you definitely are going to feel it the next day. Down at 15. Ball on the 32. Catch 
catches it. And they push him out at the 34-yard line. Game of two yards. That'll bring up fourth and 13. Barber to punt. But yeah, I really do apologize for the internet issue uh, and the internet crash, actually. So, the Eagles are having their yeah. way on offense so far in this football game. Just hopefully, um, to what they're trying to hopefully do. it won't happen down, again. Running and throwing, and right now this defense just can't stop it. And that'll bring it into the first quarter of action. 14 nothing, Eagles. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Makes it to the 47. He's up to 100 rushing yards now. They've been playing for this all season, and he knows he's got to be his very best on every Nice play. catch. From the 47-yard line, first down. This one out to the right, and he's hit immediately. I'll tell you what, this defense better start to get pressure on the quarterback. They're giving him way too much time back there to throw the football. God bless Edwards. Ow, First down, God. 10 to go. Ball on the 29 yard line. Incomplete. That looked like the same play they just called. Yeah, it was. The defense was ready for it this time. That makes it second and ten. He's at the 20. Out of bounds at the 13. From the 13 yard line, it's first down. Nice job, Greg. seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drop. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. All right, let's see how the defense does on that with this. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback.
It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. Now he's scrambling. He's to the 40. He might have a chance. Across midfield. Brought down with only one man to beat. He had all kinds of running room there. Give credit to the quarterback here, recognizing the coverage and taking off for a big, big game. Looking to capitalize on the big run. Now it's first and ten. Okay, whoa, that and he can't get away from the pressure. That's the second time that he sacked their quarterback today. For this offensive line, it must feel like they're going up against an avalanche on almost every play. This guy's putting up some really good pressure on him. Nice. Defense looking for another sack in the second down and long situation. Hang on for a moment, folks. I will be right back. Oh, oh. All right, there we go. Sorry about that, folks. 
Whew, let's just say uh, my stomach was not happy. Oh my lord. Alright. Back to it. Good lord. Gonna trust in my defense. Good catch. <clears throat> Third and long now after the sack. Under pressure, he wants it all. The offense caught him flat-footed to convert that third and long. You can tell by the coach's reaction that that is a huge disappointment. <clears throat> Shit. Well, that sucks. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Slings it. Touchdown, Nifty Lions. Come on, Kaufman. He makes the PAT. Carter has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. Kaufman fields it at the seven. He's out to the 30. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. The Eagles obviously have built their offense around this guy. And through two quarters, everything's working, Herbie. But, you know, you can't just rely on one guy. And he's got to be careful a little bit in the third and fourth quarter, too. Well, you want to keep pushing. I mean, he's off to a great start. This offense is obviously off to a great start. It's a four-quarter game. And, you know, the opponent's going to try to get back into this game, take some chances. So if this running back is smart, he'll continue to challenge himself, his offensive line, and the entire offense and continue to try to put more points up on the board. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. He takes it right side for a good game. <laughs> They're about four yards away here on second down. He's at midfield. He gets hit out of bounds at the 47 yard line. First and ten. Ball on the 47-yard line. He's tackled around the 45-yard line. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. Tackled after a decent pickup. 
Dear God! Shoved out of bounds around the 12 yard line. The Eagles will use their first time out of the half. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 12 yard line. Here we go. And they got him. You have to keep an eye on this guy, especially during passing situations, because he does a great job of getting to the quarterback, <coughs> as we saw right there. Second and 15. Ball on the 17. And they make the stop around the two yard line. The Eagles are going to have to call their third and final timeout. Here we go. That makes it first and goal. We're at play number nine of this current drive. This defense not wanting to give an inch here. He's in the end zone. Touchdown. Make it a triple dip, folks. This offense has just been running over the defense with the Brown game. If they can't shore up the rushing attack soon, then this game is going to get ugly. PAT. A nine play, 70 yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. And the big plays that they had running the football were the keys to that drive. They might just want to squib this one. Only a few seconds left here before half time. Here we go. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. This offense threw the ball extremely well on their last drive, and they ended up with a touchdown. Yeah, this offensive coordinator has got to be feeling so good about the execution that he's seeing from this quarterback and his wide receiver. Because, again, they put so much time in trying to put a plan together, and to be able to see that actually come into play makes you feel pretty good as a play caller. And that'll do it for the first half. Still plenty of football to be played. 28-7, to Eagles. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. He's David, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Both of these defenses are opportunistic. They're very good at forcing turnovers. But both quarterbacks, David, have done a very good job while trying to maintain an aggressive mindset they haven't forced the ball. The runners have done a good job keeping it put away. Yeah, and as much as you preach that all throughout the week, it's still hard to do. It's hard to execute. And being able to see what you see on the defensive side of the football and adjust to it offensively, how about protecting the quarterback so he's not getting hit from the blind side, fumbling the football, ball carriers running with the football, keeping it tight to their body, not giving it away. So, you know, between running backs, receivers, and quarterbacks, offensive linemen blocking, did a great job executing on the offensive side of the football, not to, create, not to give away any turnovers. David's ready to get back on that couch, get the remote, get all the games dialed up to watch what's going on around the country. Time to get you back for your second half. Brad and Kirk, ready to roll. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Wait, what?
Was the QB that much of a panic? There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. He gets rid of this one. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 25. And he's tackled at the 26. Third and nine coming up. Ball on their own 26. Don't know why they went for that out. deep pass. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. Oh, was the intended target on the play. And that'll bring up a punting situation. The offense really had <laughs> go. nowhere to go on that one. The play was very well defended, and now the incompletion will force the fourth down and a punt. Hill awaiting the return. He makes it out to maybe the 46-yard line. This back's had a good day on the ground, Kirk. Yeah, and I think you also have to give some credit to the big guys up front. They're really winning Ooh. the battle with the line of scrimmage. It's allowing him to have more room to work with to be able to get upfield. Well, in big games, it's crucial that your top performers play their best. And that's what we've seen from him today. We're about set to start things up again. On the run, gets it to his man. Tackle at the 40. Nice job, Greg Hurd! Oh man, he thank you, Greg Hurd. Let's it fly. And he's knocked out immediately after the catch. the 22 yard line it's first down oh thank you thomas 22 out i think it's a 22 out or oh he launches one for the end zone. thomas 22 all for the uh fall oh, thank you come on catch it catch it catch it catch it yes what you want to do on every there you go but it doesn't always happen Strike to the receiver, touchdown. This guy just continues to impress oh? me. Every time I watch this team play, he seems to come up with big plays. Once he gets those jets on, there wasn't going to be anything that could stop him. the extra point a four play 54 yard drive and it results in a touchdown and it looks like they're ready for the kickoff he just drills this one 
and it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Eagles can here we go. To get it done on the defensive side of the football curve. Yeah, they've done a good job. Of uh, technically, I've the only the done two seasons so far. Protected. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. This is my second season so far with this team, and sadly, we're going to be losing a few of our uh, players. They show some fight here and try to but yeah, we're going to be losing a decent amount of our now, veterans that, after swing. this game, so it's going to really suck, but we're going to try our best with the players we've just recruited for this season, and hopefully in the offseason, we can get just some better players. Oh, Crap. Nice job there, Williams. Nice job. I gave some of my veterans a, their last game. Yard line. Second down. Others who are already really good will be continuing on with this last game before they officially graduate. And he's hit immediately. No, you do not, sir. You are not going past that line of scrimmage. Yeah, thank you for the ball. We'll take that. Jack, move! Not bad, not bad. Barber is the putter. He's to the 40, heading for the corner. Brought down at the 47. Crap, I messed up. I messed up. These guys came on with a touchdown on their last drive, and they'll be hoping for another six on the board here. This quarterback right now is in a rhythm, and a lot of that has to do with his preparation. You can see right now with the Oh wow, just dragging, dragging by his shoulders. Out of his hands, that he's feeling very, very Good confident Lord. in his ability to throw the football against this defense. That makes it second and ten. Second and ten. Ball in their own 47. God bless it, that just did not help us at all. Two times, two times. Caught out of the open. He's taken down. Omen to punt. Booming kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Eagles' plan was to run the ball, and they are doing it as well as we've seen it. Well, they're running the football. These backs seem to be hitting the holes just at the right time. And how about the offensive line? Just opening up some nice holes, just doing what this offense needs wait, to do. What to did you, wait, hold on. What did you just say? Not a whole lot's been working for them so far. They should just come out and play loose. And hey, Thomas, what the heck did you just say that, that set off freaking uh, Streamlabs? Receiver. They'll bring him down at the 27 yard line. Seven That'll bring up second and three. Ooh. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. He's scrambling. Now he's going to run and watch out. And he's taken down at about the 43-yard line. They'll get the first down. He made the correct decision to tuck it and go. Oh, what the hell? 
That mind defender completely missed him. It's first and ten. No, I have to admit that would hurt. I was explaining my Toledo dynasty. I had. Oh, okay. So yeah, I don't know what in the world happened then. Gets it. He's in space. Seriously, Streamlabs, you need to calm down. I swear to God, the AI bot just doesn't know when to when to learn to relax. Uh, had, damn, losing great players. I had that happen to me with Toledo. Had three good seasons building them and won the title. The, then the fourth season came around and went 75. I was awful, didn't recruit well. Oh, okay. Oops. Second down, 12 to go. Ball on the 46 yard line. They run straight. Brought down quickly. That's three down and one to go. The Eagles are up big. Well, folks, we head into the fourth quarter, and this one is a blowout. All right, here we go. But yeah, that sucks, though. I remember when we first uh, started the season, we definitely were a little bit rusty on the whole recruiting thing. We didn't necessarily get the best QBs, and it kind of backfired on us, since our QBs are usually hit or miss. Hopefully with the new recruiting, because we just got a 99 overall uh, wide receiver. Sadly, we weren't able to get a 99 overall QB, which would have been even better, but... Hopefully, we'll be able to find someone who could actually into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. Penn State's usually a very stout Shit. team on defense, but so they're not living up to the clippings in this one, Herbie. Where's the swagger? Where's the attitude? Where's the emotion that we're used to seeing from these guys? Right now, they're back on their heels, almost looking confused. Early in the fourth quarter here, and obviously, we've got a blowout. One team trying to play for pride, and the other one just trying to get out of here. Nice job, Kaufman. Here by this quarterback. There we go. Sitting in until the last second, trying to make a play downfield, only to have this defense get to him. He's got to do a better job maybe feeling things out a little bit, but at least he has the awareness and a toughness to sit in that pocket. It's second and ten. Ball on their own 20. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. He's tackled around the 38-yard line. I didn't mean to choose the same play, and that kind of backfired. <laughs> and he's going to be sacked for a loss. Hold on. There we go. Had to uh, fix something. Defense looking for another sack in the second down and long. Season. Everyone was literally covering him. There's nothing there I can do on that one. Receiver. The only thing I can think of doing is screw it. When in doubt, leave it to Mario Brown. He's gonna air it long. Oh, he had the pick and he dropped it. God bless it. Here's a third and long situation. Ball the 29. So a few more years to win another title in Toledo. Brown gets a carry uh, left side. And he shoved out of bounds. There we go. The 35 um, 
My recruiting skills weren't good, but it took a while and I understood it. One titles, three three titles overall with Toledo in nine seasons, with the last two seasons being back to back titles, and now I'm in Texas State struggling with the rebuild. Uh, that's understandable. Right now we're using a actual user created team based off of Eastern Washington University, which I happen to live nearby, how I it's also how I got all this. The defensive line knows their job. The linebackers, the safeties. The Jesus, why the hell did they dive? dive. And they've been fun to watch today. <laughs> the deficit is I didn't huge, even press the button. But as a player, you never want to slow down your effort. Believe me, coaches notice the ones who aren't trying that hard. <laughs> Throws a bullet. <laughs> what the hell, dude? No. Stay down. You guys are not making a comeback while I'm here. It's second down. Scrambling around. And now he's got room to run. Tackle made right around the 36 yard line. First down. But yeah, it was uh, very hard for us to for us to do the recruiting. But after uh, figuring out what to do and how to really increase our chances of getting those players, we immediately went all on trying to make sure we get the necessary requirements for the recruiting. And now we got a 99 overall wide receiver for right now. But we're hoping to try to maybe get a better QB by the third season if we're lucky. If we're going to try to recruit a very good one. And they make the stop at the 22-yard line. No, stay down. There's no for your team. It will not happen. Our team will ensure you will never get a comeback. Pitches back. And down he goes at the 20-yard line. It's second and eight. It's second and eight. Ball on the 20-yard line. Just under three to go in regulation. Fires incomplete. He was looking for the tight end. Out for a pass play when you're in a goal line D. Nope. Here's some of the current ras rosters. The the last college football season, Great nice, but it was for revamp, and I don't have it. Right now, I think okay. Oh, okay. Here's to be a bit rattled. There we go. Um, but it was revamp, so I don't have it, so I couldn't add it. But did find a file with the current only Power Five teams. So they're gonna go for it. Yeah, I luckily found this one uh, relatively out of all of the ones I found. This is the only one that seemed the most realistic, so I decided to go with this one. He's looking for six. Huge Plus, the stadium actually defense. doesn't look too bad. If you the last game of the season. I've actually been to EWU That's and I've seen it, the seen the stadium, and it's. Yes, it's a little bit smaller than the one that's currently being used in the game, but hey, if they actually were to go into professional, it would it seems like a pretty decent size. Both teams are playing out the stretch here. You want to get experience for guys who normally don't get in the game and try to avoid injuries. And he's tackled at the 18-yard line. Loss of two on the play. So it's second and 12. Ball on the 18 yard line. Oh, he forced him to drop it. Are you serious? And he carries the ball for a nice game. Game seven on the play. That'll make it third and five. Crap. 
crap, that was my bad. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. Got a man wide open and it goes through his hands. That's exactly how they drew it up in the sideline, and now they get the ball back. Fourth and five. Holman is waiting for the snap. McBride fields it at the 35. We're late in the fourth quarter. This game has been a blowout for quite some time, and Kirk and I are just looking to make our flights. No, that was because I accidentally, uh... That makes it second and eight. No, it's that's understandable, yeah. Ball on the 44-yard line. Complete. Tackle around the 47-yard line. There's a flag down in the backfield, but I didn't see what happened. Foul. Roughing the passer, defense. This was just an unnecessary hit. He should have been disciplined for a play like that. All right, here we go. 38 yard line. First down. We just gotta hold him here, and we pretty much win the game. He gets rid of this one. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. And he's tackled after positive yardage. The Nittany Lions will use their first time out of the half. Forward. Gains around six uh, yards on the Well, um, right actually, there. the field is actually smaller so compared now, to the one they put in the game. Four. I actually like the one they designed we in the game better because it actually feels like that they have uh, really put their time and effort for the team. So. Off balance throw got him anyway. He's taken down at the 25. Penn State's going to have to use their second time out of the half. Don't know what Lee the third was doing. You would think, considering that the actual college, university, was literally the size of a city, you would think that it would have a bigger stadium. But, surprisingly, no. They'll bring him down at the 16. Number 7 makes the tackle at the 16-yard line. That brings up second and one. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Gets rid of this one. This is the eighth play of this drive. Got some open field. Touchdown, Penn State. Great call by the offensive coordinator. Big time play, taking that ball all the way in. Maybe the defense wasn't expecting a run. McDonald got it nice. And he tacks on the extra point. A solid oh. play, 55 yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Well, that was really bad on them. All right, so. Uh... Touching offense. God, that was bothering still first me here. down. All right, here we go. Edwards, come on, man. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. They spread the field in the gun. I thought I could try to get into the pass, but 
Don't worry about it. I'll just go for the run. Watch it all. Going deep. Can't pull it in. That'll stop the clock. Boy, what a terrible call. Not a smart decision here to go with the pass play, knowing that you should have taken a knee to keep the clock moving. There we go. And there it is. We are the winners of the Rose Bowl. Run left side. There he goes. He goes down at the 36. That's the end of the ball game and our final score in this one the eagles 35 the nittany Lions, absolutely amazing possibly the best way to give our veterans what do you got for a goodbye you know, i think it was a well-played game for the most part penn state had a few missed opportunities in this game and i think if they could have capitalized on a few of them it would have been a lot closer and they might even have won this game Hopefully one day we'll get a undefeated Here's season. That would be nice. EA Sports will donate ten thousand. Well, with Hiro Sakai as our newest wide receiver and hopefully kick returner, Eagles, it's going to be one hell of a challenge to see how how this is going to handle, especially for the rest of the, season. the third season when it when we get up to that point. And there it is. We are now officially done. We've hit 6,000 plus offensive yards in a season. Possibly the best performance we had since last season, which is good because we were lacking in that department. And now we're at least going to do the off season as well. So here we go. There it is, another Rose Bowl trophy ready to add to our collection. Let's see, um... Give me a coach info. Let's see if uh, it'll spot my name. There it is. It's just gonna be a little shit. Okay. Um, oh wait. But yeah, not too bad in that regard. We missed out on the Maxwell. We did win the Walter Camp. We won, I think we won a few more, hang on. We also won the Walker. We had a finalist in the uh, the Litnikoff uh, Award. We got a. Uh, we got a finalist in the Lombardi. Best linebacker. And we, of course, have the uh, best uh, retriever uh, receiving. Yeah, he's been absolutely on a roll. And we were only just one spot away from getting the Heisman Trophy. But hopefully we'll, 
Hopefully we'll get it soon. That one day we'll, we will. Alright, so not bad. Overall though, we made it to rank... Alright, we got 10. But we'll find out soon enough just how things go. Because right now we're at B plus on the championship contenders rating, so... Who knows, maybe we might actually earn our chance to get there. And now, to advance the week, and say goodbye to all of our seniors for this season. It is kind of sad though, especially since we've really gotten to know a lot of these players, how they operate and how they do things. But now it is time to say goodbye to every single one of them as they then leave to do their own things or hopefully get even, get, even get recruited to the NFL if they get lucky. But I think, think if anything, I think... Uh, I don't know if we're actually going to be able to get anybody in the NFL. Maybe we will eventually, I don't know. Alright, my character's at level 33 now. That's good. We means we can put another point in. Updating record books. There it is. Mario Brown ha holds the new record. Record stat is in 22... 20... Sorry, 2,882 yards. And for rushing yards, previous holder was in 1998 with a halfback of Oklahoma State. And of course, the previous record was 2,628. David Gallard also has a new record, has set the school season record for the most sacks in a season with up to 14, was once held in 2005 by another defensive end at 14. Mario Brown also has the school career in rushing touchdowns up to 48 with a previous record of 42 from a halfback for two years from 2002 to 2004. Mario Brown also got the school record for the most rushing touchdowns in a season, which was once held by David Bumonte, which is pretty interesting. Mario Brown then holds the school career record for the most rushing yards in a career, 4,779, where the original was 4,087. Then Mario Brown then broke his previous record of 1,897 yards in a season by literally just shattering it by almost over a thousand yards. Like seriously. Absolutely amazing for Mario Brown to set so many records up until this point. And now we just do the bye week one more time, but first we have to do this. We have to put in the head coach point that we need and we're setting it to match up. Next, we'll be concentrating on setup artist since it might actually help us out in the long run, all things considered. We're gonna definitely need that for later. Okay, here we go, we are advancing the week, advancing to the end of the season, and there it is. Tyler Sherman has locked us out, which sucks. Well, we got won the best Rhett, we uh, won Walter Camp Award, we won the Walker Award, win a bowl game, win coach of the year, nice, win a bowl game, eight consecutive wins, earn a BCS bowl bid, school rushing touchdown seasons, like seriously, we've just absolutely killed it with everything we've done up to this point. Look at all the records and all the stuff we've set out to do up till now and there it is we are now finally at the end of the season 
You did it, coach. Everyone here is so impressed with the job you have done, we've decided to offer you an extension. Alright, so it sounds like we get a seven year extension. Seven years. Oh, hell yeah! I will take that, my friend. Let's do it again. We got the trophy here. As head coach in Dynasty, sign an extension to stay at the same school. Hell yeah, we are. We've been with these guys from the from the start, and that is where we're going to stay. We don't abandon the team that we've been working so hard to make it work. So here we go. We're going to advance to the next stage. And it's time for us to say goodbye to some of our players who we may never we will never see again unless we do a brand new playthrough but I don't know if I'm going to do that I think I may choose a different team if that's the if there's an option for that there's actually someone who asked me to do a GameStop team I actually downloaded the team and uh, who knows maybe if we're lucky we might try them eventually here we go we are now heading to players leaving Alright, so for all you guys who are wondering who our graduates are, they are, starting from the very top, we have Brandon Kaufman, one of our wide receivers of the Eastern Washington University Eagles, or EWU Eagles. He has been an amazing player who has absolutely shown amazing promise, had amazing two years with us, with over a thousand yards receiving in each one. He definitely has earned his title as one of the greats. Next, we have Nicholas Edwards. What? Oh, oh my god, wait, wait, you could actually prefer them to stay? Hell no. Uh, but yeah, Edwards didn't start out that great at the start, but he immediately came back with a vengeance in, in our second season. Well done for an amazing performance. He's made every single one of his moments count. And he has just been one of our better players overall. So I am going to miss Nicholas, Nicholas Edwards. Then we have Tyler Washburn, who actually struggled this season in terms of uh, tackles for loss and everything. But he actually did a really good job in his first season with us. It is really sad, however, to see him go. So Next, of course, is Grant Williams who had possibly one of the best seasons we've ever seen from a offensive linebacker. And as you can see his stats, he did tackles for loss up to 17 times. He did struggle next season, but he gained an interception, a pass deflection, and a forced fumble, which he did not do in his previous season. He did, he did such a great job. Well done, buddy. Then we have Josh Antonson. Uh, he didn't really do much this season, mainly just concentrating on defense overall for guard. But he didn't do too bad. He never gave up any sacks and was always good at protecting the team. Then we have, of course, uh, Will Post. He only gave up. S he had only given up seven sacks last year, but uh, yeah, it wasn't actually that bad. He did a pretty decent job. Then we got Evan Cook. Dude has been on a roll. He had great defensive. He had a defensive touchdown last season. Pass deflections were good. Then he had a forced fumble this season instead of last season. And he had done more tackles for loss and even got assisted tackles this time around. Great job for him. Then we have Jeff Minerly, who has been on a substantial role in se in their second season, where he just upped a lot of his scores, showing that he is has the potential to be a great star if placed in the field. Then we have Jerry Sea, who absolutely improved from last season from having a defensive touchdown, pass deflection, forced fumble, in better more sacks than last season, more assisted tackles, more tackles for losses, and just overall did a fantastic job for a right end. Kevin Miller had seven field goals made. 
he attempted 13, sadly. Some of them were mainly because we were trying to see what his limit was for his field goal range. Once we figured it out, we tried our best. He did have a few miss-ups there, here and there. His longest was up to 51 yards, so that's impressive. And of course, for extra point percentage, he did miss at least a couple, but it isn't bad. He had 96% overall on that, so it's still pretty decent. And his touchbacks on kickoffs up to 74, which is insane. Finally, we have the last two. We have Dominic Shepard, who at the start wasn't doing that good, having assisted tackles and only a few tackles here and there. But in Season 2, or 2014, he absolutely destroyed his last records for not only getting an extra interception and extra de pass deflection, but he got more tackles for losses and had more tackles than he ever did in his previous season. Finally, we have Greg Hurd, who, yes, may not have had the most receptions, but he has been one of the most consistent players in terms of yards, like consistent yards per game. Not only that, he has just been absolutely making it count where he's rarely ever dropped a pass. So, well done for Greg Hurd. It is sad to see them all go. These guys are, are some of the best, and I don't think we're ever going to get anything better than that. We did lose our, our defensive coordinator, but we did make up for it with having a brand new, brand new defensive coordinator, Danny McCarthy, who is taking over as the team's newest one. So we're going to... See and uh, there we go. We have a lot of points thanks to Danny McCarthy. Well done on that. Josh Wilcox is our newest uh, is still our a new offensive coordinator. He doesn't really have much to go with when it comes to some of his stuff, so that kind of sucks a bit. We, but however, having a defensive coordinator that good is going to really help us out in the future. So, great to have him on board. And now we advance to the next stage, saying goodbye to all of our favorite players. We'll call this... 2014 Draft. If we ever have an opportunity where we can potentially get Madden 25 on Xbox 360, I will find it. And then we'll see if we can potentially get uh, the uh, whole thing done. So, there it is. Advancing to next stage. Yep, that's, uh, yeah, I already know that. Just hurry up and advance. It is now time for the draft results. Let's see, did any of us... Nope, none. Damn, that actually sucks. Well, sucks that we didn't have any players go up there. That sucks. All right, here we got transfer requests. None. All right, so we're good there. Advancing to next stage. Commencing graduation ceremonies. Tyler Sherman locked us out. Yeah, we don't give a shit. Alright, time for recruiting. We have 15,000 points total. So right now, this could potentially give us something to work with right now. So we're going to look at all prospects and see if we can add anybody to the roster that we could potentially get. Like right now we can use a new QB. So let's see, we're gonna put Thompson in there. And you know what? We're also gonna put uh, John White in there. All right, so those are our two. Uh, halfback, 
Uh, we are definitely getting, uh, oh wait, Pong Green's already narrowed down. Alright, let's go with Daughtry. No. Goddard. No. Are you serious? Okay, so it, it turns out that the only one we have is Samuel, so I guess we're gonna just be fine with that, I guess. Um, we also have, um, wide receiver, let's see if Melton, nope. Okay, so basically, we're complete and utterly screwed on everything else. Let's go with all. We'll potentially get him. And it looks like Patton's up. Wait, what? Oh, it's already full. Okay, that is fine. All right, so we have those. Let's see what we got here. Okay, now, according to this, we are doing pretty well on some of this stuff. So what we're going to do is that we are going to only add points to players we are not guaranteed to get. So we're going to hurry up and do this. We're going to go QB. Let's see what we got here. Uh, Ray Edwards, I say we'll put at least around, we'll put 700 points into Ray Edwards, and we'll put another, we'll put around, Jesus, about 5,000 points. Actually, wait, before we do anything, let's uh, do this. Nope, never mind. We are taking those points off that it was not worth the aggravation. And that just ruined any chances of getting another QB. So, uh, yeah, not happening. Um, Corey Samuel is an improvement. I'm taking him. Wait, hang on. How far ba back are... Fuck. Wow, that is a lot of... Wow, we are going to need at least around... We'll put around 6,000 points for Corey Samuel. So, I'm going to just pour every single bit of points I have for this guy. So, we're going to put 6,000 points. And we're going to give the kid a scholarship. There we go. Scholarship has been given. And we already gave him 6,000 points. To ensure we get him. Hero Sakai is already on our roster, so we're already good there. Um, time to do some scouting. Okay, well, we already know we definitely are going to try to get Doug, Walk Doug Clark here. So that is another 6,000 points we're going to put into this guy. Scholarship's already been offered to Doug Clark, so we're already good there. So all we need to do is just absolutely just give him as many points as we can without spending too much, because we're going to need the best wide receivers for this one. Alright, so dropping it there. And we'll put at least around... We'll put 800 points. Actually, we'll make it 850. No, actually, no, we'll drop the 50. Tight end. Guy is pretty much locked us out. We are removing him. We're going to back out for a moment. Now that we've gotten rid of that, we can actually try to add another player if we can. Okay, so it looks like we may need a tight end. Okay, so let's look for tight ends that are available currently.
Alright, so it looks like we... Shane McLaurin is the best person we can get, technically, right now. Kinda sucks, but we'll find out soon enough when we scout him. If we can scout him, and hopefully he has an improved... HOLY SHIT! Yeah, I'm taking him! How, how many points? 4,000! I'll take it all! Wait, seriously? Shit. Okay, so we're gonna need to really rethink some of the points. Okay, you know what? We're gonna take points off here. We already have the lead with DJ Walters. I don't think we need to worry about him for a little bit, so... We'll put all the points we have on him, and we're gonna push it over to here. We're gonna put drop a thousand points from Doug Clark. We're going to put another 1,000 on our tight end over here, who we're going to definitely need for a future season. So here you go, Shane. There you go. And now we just need another 1,000 points to give up. Can we do that with this guy? Yes, we can. Oops. Took too much. Now, go over here, put the remaining 1,000 here. Actually, you know what? We're going to do this. We're going to... We're going to put 3,950, and we're going to offer him a scholarship. There we go. Okay. This will absolutely help us out on our uh, way of getting some offensive players. So, here we go. Advancing to next stage... Signing day, I'm hoping we get some new players right now. We can really use the new recruits right now. I'm taking a huge risk by taking some points off and putting into another. But we really need to find out if we actually got anything off this. Okay, so, Corey Samuel has committed to UTSA. Shit. We just lost Doug Clark. We lost Shane McLaurin. Damn it. And Cornelius. But we did get DJ Walters and Dylan Schultz, so we have some backup wide receivers now. We also got Jeff Thomas. We got Justin Crum. And that's it. We don't have anybody else. That sucks. We just lost several people we were hoping to get earlier, so... All right, so that actually sucks. Um, here we go, signing day. Let's see what we got here. Now the only question is, will these guys choose us? That would be funny if they did. All right, so we're just gonna advance to next stage. Let's see what happens, position changes. All right, there he is! Hero Sakai. Though not accurate to the Captain Tsubasa look, but close enough. Um, other than that though, Look at all of this. Look at all these guys. Major improvements from our punter, halfbacks, all of them. They are just absolutely just shining here today. I think we'll keep him the same. Yeah, same, same. We don't really need to really change anybody. We pretty much are going to keep the same thing. They all do well in their own professional fields. I think that's what we're going to stick with. So advance to next stage. Now time to see the training results and see what we got. All right, here we go. We are now past that training results. Holy shit! 
look at the improvements. Mario Brown went from an 80, 82 to an 86 overall. Ron Williams from 80 to 85. God bless. Look at these improvements, people. This is beautiful. All of our, most of our players that were in the 70 range are now in the 80 range. So that makes up for a lot of players we just lost from the, uh, from the graduation. A lot of players that were in the 60s are now in the 70s. A lot of them from the 50s are now in the 60s. They are all doing incredibly well. Our team is pretty much prepared, I think. And not to mention, we already have Hiro Sakai, who's already a overall 99. And I don't think that's going to be changing anytime soon. Now it's time for the part where we cut players. But I don't think we really need to cut anybody, considering we've been considering we don't have that much to worry about. Nope, we are keeping everybody. Alright, now... Now it's evaluating players. Enrolling recruits. You would now have the ability to reset the coach's skill trees, blah, blah, blah. I think I may eventually do that right now, currently, actually. Uh, actually, no. I think we're pretty good, all things considered right here. I think we're just going to stick with that. Okay, let's do, uh, let's take a look at custom conferences. We're gonna add army and we'll add air force with that we'll also add two more Hawaii and finally Navy. BCS bull tie-ins. Here we go. Heading over to the uh, this part right here for the preseason. We just added four new teams. Army, Navy, Air Force, and of course we had to add Hawaii. So now we officially have four more teams in the Pac-12, which I think we'll be now renaming it the Pac-16. And there it is. All right. So I want to thank you all so much for joining me here. We are going to raid someone, so stick with me here. I do apologize for the internet crash, but that was due to our internet provider. Oh, excuse me. 
If you guys like what we do, please follow us on Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, as well as Kick, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Mr. Retroactive. And if you guys want to support the channel in any way, you guys can donate with bits on Twitch, stars on Facebook, or PayPal, or you can subscribe to our Kick channel, Facebook channel, Twitch channel, or through through our Amp sorry through the tier system or Amazon Prime, where you can get a Prime subscription for free to your favorite Twitch streamer. Hopefully, that's yours truly. Where you can support us with our sponsor, Swift Grips, where you can use this. Where um, if you go to SwiftGrips.co.com. You'll be able to, and once you order all your stuff, you can then use the promo code MrRetractive10 at checkout for 10% off your order. Whew! There we go. But yes, for, and yeah, before I do raid someone, um, I am going to say this. We are officially turning the Melonheads team that we have been using for our live streams, and we're going to be sticking with your guys' teams for live streams, and the Melonheads will be the official team of an actual of our first retro sports series on retro sports network which is a basically a show that we're doing that is going to be you guys watching our entire franchise and see how we do all right so with that in mind let's see what we got here we got this person right here oh holy crap uh never mind uh we're actually going to raid someone else that's playing this game All right, so there we go. All right, here we go. We're going to get ready for the raid. So until then, my friends, I hope you all have an amazing day. I will see you all next time when we're going to be doing uh, Team Fortress 2 and Elden Ring tomorrow. This is going to be Mr. Retroactive signing out with this cutscene. Have a great day, everyone. Until then, I hope you all have an amazing day. I will see you all next time. This is Mr. Retroactive signing out. Have a great day, everybody.